Welcome to East Coast Health Care Beers today. We're reviewing another Trogues beer. This is their Perpetual IPA. It's an Imperial Pale Ale. It's a handcrafted by the Trogues Bros. On the side of the can, it says 7.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Serve in a tumbler. I got my little snifter here. Color straw golden, uh, year round release. Hops, Bravo, Chinook, Mount Hood, Nugget, Citra, Cascade. So that Trogues artisanal meats mechanical in a state of IPA we call perpetual. Cycling through our hop back vessel and dry hopping method, this bold imperial pale ale emerges rife with sticky citrus rind, pine balm, and tropical fruit. Sounds pretty good. It says Best Buy 224 2022. So we're actually getting pretty close to the Best Buy date. It's 210 today. So still fresh though. Um, do have the website pulled up, get a little bit more information. Uh, it says Pennsylvania's IPA, Vitae Citrus, Notes of Pine, Subtle Grain. Um, let's see if there's anything different. So Grain, Crystal, Munich, Pilsner, Ale East. Just a little bit more information. Uh, yeah, let's crack this open and check out the appearance. They're saying it's a straw slash golden color. So doing a review outside today. It's pretty nice out, so I was like, why not? It's like in the 40s, 45, going towards 50. So it's definitely a little bit warmer than it's been lately, but it's still a little chilly. But let's go for the porch check, check out the appearance. Definitely a nice uh, golden color, like they said. A little bit of a haze to it. Nice foamy white head, produced a big head, about two and a half fingers, uh, off-white, sudsy head, looks like it's going to leave like a nice lacin on the glass. Yeah, really good color to it. Let's, uh, let's get an aroma on this one. Definitely like a mango. Mango, orange. Grapefruit, some pine and some breadiness, sweetness from the mall, maybe some caramel or honey. I think maybe more honey than caramel, I'd say. What's the Crystal Munich kills it? Yeah, it smells good though. Like I said. Nice sweetness, a little bit of mango, very citrusy to orange and grapefruit. Slight white bread. Smells really good. 7.5%, uh, no boozy aspect on the aroma. Uh, cheers. Let's try this one out, guys. Oh, yeah, definitely like caramel mole. Lots of breadiness. Nice earthy hop resin pine piney floral finish to it. Grapefruit as well. Very citrusy. Um, on the aroma, I was getting that, that mango was actually coming through a lot. On the palate, it's definitely more citrus. So like orange and lemon. Not much of the tropical flavor is coming through, for me at least. Very bready, like I said, caramel malt sweetness, citrusy, grapefruit. Definitely some bitterness to this. If I were to say a Cyclops scale, I'd give it like a like a four, four out of five hop cones. Um, that bitterness does linger, along with the citrus and the grapefruit. That sweetness from that caramel sticks around as well, but it kind of dies off. And you're left with that lingering floral hop resin finish. I can see a little bit of, now I think the mango is coming through a little bit. After for a uh, few sips, it starts to come through a little bit. The first couple of sips, I was just getting straight citrus, like orange, like orange rind, <clears throat> excuse me, like orange rind and like lemon, maybe even like a lemon peel. It's kind of got that like pithy aspect to it. It's very good. It's actually very good. I do enjoy it. Um, 
for rating, I'll give it like a, actually, well, I didn't even mention carbonation. Carbonation is about, I feel like medium to high carbonation, some good carbonation, medium body. So for rating, actually, no, Cyclops scale. Let's talk about Cyclops scale. Uh, well, I said four out of five hop cones, but I didn't say sugar cubes. It does have that caramel, honey-esque sweetness. So I'd say like three out of five sugar cubes. So yeah, three out of five sugar cubes, four to five hop cones. For a rating for the beer overall, I'll give it like a 93. Definitely a nice, it's it's crisp, it's refreshing. Um, like that it has a little bit of that tropical flavor. It's not all citrus once, once it opens up. And you get more of a, uh, like an examination towards the beer um, rather than just your initial sip. Like I said, the tropical definitely pops out a little bit. I like the flow, earthy, hop resin aspect you're getting uh, with it. The caramel and the honey makes a nice sweetness, rounds out the beer, definitely a well-balanced beer. So like I said, 93 out of 100, if I didn't say already, 93 out of 100 for this one. Gonna recommend it. If you guys can get Trogues, I definitely recommend picking this one up. I do not remember what the price is, but if I see it online, I will put it in the, uh, the description. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good beer, recommend it. Uh, most of the stuff that I've had by Trogues is really good. Well, the ones that I've had, I've enjoyed. So yeah, check this one out. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks so much, guys. Cheers.